All right, hello everyone. My name is Sage, and uh, welcome back to our Pokemon World Kaizo playthrough. Uh, as you can see, I'm here a little actually on the route before the leverage down. I am gonna do a little bit of grinding here, just to know, finish up a little bit of grinding that I did. So the thing is, I've done just a little bit of grinding, not even that much. Uh, I think I got one level to Slarking, one level to Sceptile. One level to Ampharos. Now we're gonna get one final level to Tony. Like so. And he will evolve into last form, which hopefully makes him useful. Maybe he can actually do something in the gym fight. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Not much. Only, you know, like one level per Pokemon. I don't think I even leveled Fukuro at all. Anakin, I think I did not grind as well. Maybe one level, I, I can't even remember anymore. But you know, just a tiny little bit. I, did, I didn't want to start to do too much over leveling. So yeah, this is the situation. And also one thing is that Espe learned Thunderbolt. So I replaced Thunder Punch with that. So that's a little bit stronger move. That might help us out, you know, against the uh, freaking Zarizard. That's on the gym. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to, you know, show that uh, Lero's evolution to the video. Because you know they are cool and I think it's good to show them. Without further ado, I'll just uh, double check items really quickly. I Actually, I don't because what the fuck I do with the items when I can't use them in the battle? <laughs> and the only ba battle left here in this gym is that uh, gym fight. So... What I'm gonna do actually before I go in and face the gym leader, if I can even remember the way to hit her. What, what I'm gonna try is, I'm, I'm gonna try and see, you know, how's the Tony now when he's evolved to final form. I can already see that the attack rose quite a lot in defense as well. Uh, special attack, special defense and speed, of course, being really bad stats. But I'm just kind of hoping that maybe he could actually survive a hit. <laughs> That's like, if he can survive one hit, then I'm like satisfied, and he could then inflict some damage against that freaking Ninetales. If he could get, you know, get Ninetales defeated with just Tony, I mean, that's already a good benefit. That's even, that's more than Tony has ever done. I think what the only thing Tony has done in this fight before uh, is that he's just died as a, as a fodder. So, you know, anything else he can do besides that is all, already an extra. <laughs> we still might require a couple of you know, tries, but I think I can do this with this current team. I mean, we already got pretty close last time. We got to the, all the way to the last Pokemon, so I would believe that this little bit crying that I did and, you know, getting the Lair involved should, should be enough. If Tony can just take one hit, he had a, he, I think he has so good attack that it could be, you know, strong enough to one shot even, but we will see. So the overheat comes in and if it one shots then you know we have to come up with something else. Alright, we have to come up with something else. Retry number two. And the sound is strong, yes. We all got that. Let's just use the crust claw to make a little bit of damage before going down. And still probably the uh, unnecessary first drop. Uh, I do not remember how we used superpower against the nine tails. Yeah, no, no, the slash, slash has been enough every time because he takes the recall damage from the overheat anyway, so we can just one sort it with the slash from this range. That was the way we did it the last time as well. So let's just, you know, attack like so. I mean, getting the sleep in like this means. Ah, uh, okay. Then this is not a good idea. I should have... I'm an idiot for not thinking that because it's really obvious. It's always left hours or lumberry. Two sort it with the extra sensory. If we can get flinch with the extra sensory, I guess that would... That would be pretty much the only way to avoid damage from this place again. But we're not gonna rely on that. We just... We are just happy that we get it killed in two shots and we take a little bit of damage. It is what it is. <laughs> And of course, when I say that I get the freaking flinch, okay. Well, this must be the run, right? I mean, or this must be the fight, because we got full HP Fukuro remaining on our team. He can take one hit, so we can use him against something still. Have Fukuro take the Intimidate? I guess, yeah. Fukuro must take the Intimidate here. 
Because the only other one who could take the intimidate would be Esper, but we have to save Esper for this are hard, so we definitely don't want to. Don't want to use him against this guy. We'll take the heat wave. Yeah, we actually take it. Well. Let's see how much extra sensory actually do even. Oh, okay. It doesn't do that much. We have to weaken it a little bit though, because uh, we want to have it in the superpower range. That's pretty much all we need. He might use the extreme speed as well on this turn, because I might be in the range. I'll play into that. This is maybe a risky move, but... Yes, I got it right. So if I superpower... I hope that we, he's in the super range of superpower of killing him. That's what I'm kind of hoping here for. And I wanted to do this so I can keep Anakin alive as a fodder for something else. Let's see here if I use the superpower that will it kill. I mean, I think it does, but he, it might live with the sliver as well. Alright, it was enough to kill. Okay, that was good. Didn't even lose that much HP as a recoil damage, so we're actually in a good position. Now, Thunderbolt is a bit stronger, but I still believe that the situation is the same, that we're not gonna be able to kill this thing with just SP, unless it gets paralyzed and we outspeed it on the first, because now it outspeeds us. Uh, it used the solar beam and the next turn it will use he heat wave, you know, to two two us. Oh, okay, you gotta crit. Well, I mean, it's fine as long as we don't die to it. We just need to weaken it with Thunderbolt. Okay, yeah, okay, Thunderbolt actually did so much more damage than I was anticipating. But we're still gonna, you know, sacrifice Esper here. And just have the... Well, I'm not gonna rely on Fukuro being faster, right? I think Flash is still faster. Yeah, Flash is faster. And I and at least. Wait, did I misclick? I fucking misclicked. I freaking misclicked. Okay, now we just have to hope Fukuro is faster, I guess. Or we could sacrifice Anakin. He destroyed. Okay, that's a reset then. I guess. Well, I mean, not necessarily. Uh, let's keep going, because in normal situation, Fukuro wouldn't have survived anyway from the blaze again, so... And that was what I was taking into account. That that the Fukuro survived even it at the first place was extra. And I guess it that that it was able to damage the Arcanine was extra as well, so... This actually not might not still screw us over. Then it's the Typhlosion. Uh, Anakin will probably go down in one shot here. Let's see how much the heat wave does, but I, I just kind of assume. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much damage will. I know superpower won't one shot. Let's. Uh, let's use the slash, I guess. Edge group damage. And solar beam. Uh, okay, I think we are still fine here. Let's slow for round. Or does the heat wave kill? Okay, we need to reset then. Uh, Tony? Just survive the overheat. Why not? 1 HP, right? Yeah, screw you too. We need a little bit of luck to win, no matter what we try. Either the flint hacks with the extra sensory, you know, hypnosis missing. I don't wanna start to Oh or critical hit. Yeah, you know, you know something. We need some luck. That's that's just the case. Like Like this is a good outcome now because we have a full HP team here. Everyone being alive and good all that good jazz. And uh, after the place, you get the situation st still be the same. Fukuro might have taken some damage if we don't get the flint slug, but you know, and keep you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is the this must. I have to make this work now. The the gods of luck are on my side. Getting that crit, and we are we have a full HP team at the moment. Do I have enough luck to get the sleep in with the Fukuro? I, I really don't wanna. 
playing with into chat. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, it must be Sasudera taking the intimidate. It just. It just makes most sense. Maybe get a defense drop with the Crush Claw. Crush Claw won't be doing much damage even if we outspeed, but you know, maybe if we can get like a defense drop, it helps out a little bit. Okay, well, that was great. And a defense drop. Okay, I think, fla I think uh, Flash can one shot. Because it got. Even though it heals up a little bit with leftovers. And we don't even need a superpower here, I don't think. Yeah, we are in a pretty good. <laughs> Condition, because this is pretty much the situation where we have, we would only killed nine tails. We have everyone alive except the Sceptile, but except we have now killed two extra Pokémon. <sighs> I'm a little bit. I will use the superpower. I'm not. Well, I mean, it has the defense drop, but you know, I'm just wanna. I just wanna play this safe. We are in full HP. We can take a little bit damage. It's okay. Play it safe, just to make sure that it dies. And to be absolutely certain that happens. And then against the Typhlosion, well, I'm not quite sure yet. I have a... Still a good situation with my Pokémon, so... I'm not, like, super worried. Espe can die here. The two le I mean, I guess the last solo beam was crit in the last time we tried, yeah. Yeah, that still happens, but actually Espe has a good amount of HP. Is there a possible... Is there a world where Espe leaves a heat wave? Well, there might have been, but you know, there's no world where he lives an earthquake. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> okay. This this must be the this must be the one you know where I win. <laughs> this is one of the universes in the whole multiverse where I win. <laughs> Get that down and then Typhlosion, right? Weaken it down a little bit with the Fukuro, finish it off with Flash, and then it's the cast form. Uh, I think this type flows on did not have left so it will be Lumberry, yeah. Another heat wave. I think we can still take one. Yeah. Oh, well we will die to burn. Unfortunate, but you know our luck can't run forever. How fast is cast for? I have no idea. I'm just kinda thinking. Kinda thinking that what should I do against it? I think I have to use superpower here. What is this shit again? How? T why is? Why did this happen again? I don't understand, Truant. How does it work? Do, shouldn't it, every time I switch out, shouldn't I be able to attack? Am I missing something with that? It happened again. I'm. I'm probably just missing something with that. Someone probably has already explained that in the comments of my last video, but you know. I haven't get to see that before making this. Anyway, I mean, whatever the case, we are here. We're gonna send in now Tony. Castro will use the weather ball. And we just hope that maybe Tony takes it. Ah, okay, it has a flame tower as well, so that probably will one shot. Yeah, oh my fucking god. I don't know if Flash can take a hit. Maybe one. Let's use the slash to weaken this thing down. Please don't kill Flash. If you kill Flash, then it's all over. Three fucking HP. I mean, uh, I still don't answer the truth. Does it work now that I change to Anakin? Anakin dies. Slugging my cape is he loafing around? Is it over? You know? I guess it all depends on that now. This cast form probably don't have like any priority moves at least, you know, so we will outspeed anyway. But if we are loafing around now, as I'm a little bit scared it will happen, then it's all over. And now we don't loaf around. I mean come on, someone explain me that. I don't know, but we won. We won with 3 HP. Easy, first time. First time. Alright. Give me something nice. Oh yeah, we can use strength. Oh yeah, I have to teach strength to someone. Team 50 is it overheat? Yeah. Okay, well that was fun. Oh god. Well, I mean, that team fight took a whole episode, I would say. So next time, 
Our journey continues. I mean, the fifth gym is actually pretty close by because it's a Petalburg city gym. We can just head straight there and, you know, start ha start to start with that and see what happens there. But yeah, I, uh, yeah, that's definitely all for now. Thank you guys for watching this video and uh, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed and uh, if you have anything in mind, let me know in the comments. And of course, I will see you with the future videos. But for now, it's a bye-bye.